I think it's Jerry Maguire. For some reason, it just makes me smile every time when she says, you had me at hello. I mean, in terms of dates, few men can say that they've been on a better date than taking a girl on a magic carpet ride. I think it's Jerry Maguire. People might not agree with me, but listen, I'm a 90s kid. <laughs> um, I've got a magic carpet. Do you want to, do you know what I mean? Go around Arabia. For me, Wuthering Heights is an extraordinary romantic film. I mean, it's probably cliche, but uh, Casablanca is pretty romantic and uh, makes me want to go kiss my wife every time I watch it, so that's a good one. Have you ever seen Make Way for Tomorrow? I think Orson Welles famously said that it would make a stone cry. Brief encounter, yeah. That's very moving and very ordinary. That's why I loved it. There's some films that you can watch over and over again, and especially one scene in this film with two, um, two dogs eating spaghetti uh, is one I can see over and over again. So I, I'm going to have to say Lady and the Tramp. So one of my favorite films of this year was 45 years. I think that's going to remain my favorite romantic movie of all time. I have no idea. I have to pass on that. I'm, I listen, I cry at overtures to musicals, uh, uh, so... But when Harry Met Sally? Because the kind of, the romance that's, that's achievable. <laughs> the romance that isn't just too candy floss that it would never happen in real life. The most romantic film that I know of all time is probably The Philadelphia Story. 